What's up, everybody? Tim Humphries here. And in this video, I am going to show you how to become an absolute god in the edit bay with uh, your GoPro 4x3 footage or any other action cam or honestly any other camera. So I'm going to run down uh, what I do to my footage and when and why and all that good stuff. I'm going to just start from the very beginning. Beginning. So we have a 1080p timeline. So you go to File, uh, File, New sequence I made a custom preset the settings look something like this 2997 or whatever your frame rate is 1920 by 1080 square pixels progressive scan um, and you can just you don't have to really worry about all the other stuff I got this 1080 timeline drag my clip into it keep existing settings when we go to uh, let's go to set to frame size real quick so when we look at the full clip, it's 4 by 3 It doesn't quite fit this uh, widescreen format that you use on YouTube or IGTV um, or just any full uh, format production. So when we zoom it, we kind of lose a bunch on the top and on the bottom. It's like I lose a bunch of the snowboard. But, you know, what, what can we do about this? Like, we go to our effects controls on here and we can, uh, you know, we could move it up and down so I get a little bit of my board in or a little more sky, but I get the sky, I lose my board, get the board, kind of lose the sky. But there's this absolutely magical plugin that works for uh, Adobe Premiere, Final Cut, uh, After Effects, and Motion. Uh, it's on fxfactory.com. You got to give them your email and download their uh, software, but it's a free plugin. It's kind of like iTunes for plugins. Um, a few steps to get it, but it is absolutely mission critical. Only works on Mac too, by the way. Um, so you Windows guys are kind of screwed. This is what I use. This is what a lot of people internally at GoPro use, and it does absolute wonders. Elastic Aspect Classic is what we'd want to drag onto here, but that kind of makes it all gross and squished. Uh, let me uncheck the protected region. So we've got to mess with uh, some of these settings here a little bit. 12 on the protection width, 0.1 on the elasticity, and then we leave all that there. Um, but we're still kind of... Still kind of stuck with with this, um, you know. We haven't filled the frame out yet, and now we're squished. We also have to use uh, another effect called transform. And drag that on there. Make sure uh, uniform scale is uh, unchecked. Scale the height to seventy five percent. So now you see when we. We zoom out of it it just uh, perfectly fits so now what we have is this is the original you use transform that squishes it down it looks squished and then elastic aspect bends it back to look regular again boom that's how you squeeze uh, four by three frame into 16 by nine it works absolutely great for pov works really well for uh like handheld stuff too uh, you can do it on some scenery Follow cams, like sometimes, kind of depends on the clip. Sometimes it looks uh, a little bit warpy. Um, also, here's a quick little shortcut, is you can uh, select both of Elastic Aspect Classic and Transform, right-click, Save Preset, and then you can uh, make yourself a little preset so that when, um, when you're trying to do this to a bunch of clips, you can drag a stack of clips in, and you can just highlight them all. And then you go into your presets. I called it Superview 1080p. And I can just drag this directly on, and that's a super quick preset. It just throws it right on the clip. Let's check this out again on a, uh, this is just a little, little handheld shot of me. So again, pretty zoomed in. So when you use this combination too, you want to make sure that if it's bigger than your frame size, you want to scale. So it just barely, uh, you know, so it just goes out to the edges. Um, otherwise, you're going to have to zoom in more later. But it is nice because using the transform, you also have this option to, scale independently of of the transform so i can go to my effects presets super view and then bam look at that if it's my whole body and my board and the head and the sky everything gets back in the frame you know where before i'm kind of like just a little bit chopped off and, and a little bit too tight there we go bam laced up the alley-oop three whole bodies in the shot you know just this extra view just goes so much further all right. Well, that's it for the Elastic Aspect. Don't forget to screenshot or remember these settings. Uh, it's Elastic Aspect Classic. That's uh, that's four by three to sixteen by nine. It's really good for long format videos. Um, 
yeah, anything for a 16 by 9 export. But for IGTV, long format, absolutely amazing. Well, that's it for the tutorial. Uh, that's how you squeeze 4x3 down to 16 by 9 One more note, if you're filming with GoPro cameras, the uh, Max camera or the Max lens mod is uh, definitely a must-have. If you're filming POV, it gives you a lot more field of view. So you take that extra field of view, and then you also squish it to the 16 by 9 That is how you keep the absolute maximum vertical field of view uh, that you possibly can. Hope you guys liked the video. Holler in the comments if you want me to post some more stuff like this. And don't like, forget to subscribe, turn off notifications so you'll miss every upload. And maybe follow me on Instagram at Tim Humphreys. Shout out to all my wonderful sponsors. Let's go shred this winter. Peace out.